Hi Camp Family, it's Nurse Lulu here again with another deaf blind activity. Um, so today we wanted you guys to kind of see, um, if you haven't seen Braille before, we wanted you to see what uh, Braille looks like and to also get an experience trying to write some Braille um, that maybe your friends who are visually impaired or blind might be able to read. So Braille is a system of dots that are raised up off of the page that you can feel with just the pads of your fingertips. Um, and the dots each have a unique configuration for each letter of the alphabet. So you can see in this chart where all of the dots could be. There are six different positions for the dot to be in. Um, the black dot is the part that's actually raised up for that particular letter. So in this little box of six, for A, it's only this top left dot that would be raised up. And so if I knew how to read Braille, I could feel over that placement and feel that the dot was in the top left place and I would know that that was supposed to be an A. So we have included uh, one of these Braille charts with this activity. If you wanna print it out, you can, or you can just look at it on your screen. But we want you to try making um, a sign of some kind. So in this instance, we did I love Camp Summit. So we wrote out first what we wanted to translate into Braille. I love Camp Summit, of course. And then we looked at all of the different letters here in order to translate the Braille down beneath. So you can, of course, pause the video, take some time to do this. So the I, put the dot on the top right and then the middle left uh, and so on and so forth. So write out what you want to say, then use your braille chart to translate it into braille underneath. And if you want to make it really big, you can, um, but typically braille, each letter can be read by just the pad of one finger. So you could make it smaller too. It doesn't have to be big, but write it out, translate it however you like, and then you can use um, Elmer's glue. If you have puff paint, that's great. Puff paint's really fun. Of course, you can see the different colors and see it raised up. You can do puff paint. Um, you could also use hot glue if you had some help with a hot glue gun or if you're comfortable and safe using a hot glue gun, you could do hot glue as well. Um, or for me today, I am going to use nail polish. We actually have some fun scented nail polish. So I don't know what scent this is supposed to be. I think maybe green apple. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna take my nail polish and make dots that are raised up off the page using my nail polish. And of course, if you do nail polish or glue or anything, make sure that you're doing a small dot and not a big blob, because that'll make it kind of hard to tell what it's supposed to be. And make sure you give it plenty of time to dry before you feel it. But you wanna have a dot that's um, big enough that you can really tell that it is a distinct dot. Um, and also you, want the dots to line up um, one next, next to one another um, in a way that makes clear uh, where in that row or that set of six it's supposed to be. Because if you made some dots up high and some dots down low on the page, it would be hard to tell just feeling it what letter that's supposed to be, since the dots are all in such unique combinations, right? So again, look at your braille chart, figure out what sign you wanna make, what you wanna say, write that down, translate it into braille, means take a marker or a pen or a pencil and put the dots down on the page. And then get your glue, puff paint, nail polish, anything that you have that will make a nice raised up dot and go over your message. 
so that when it dries, you'll be able to feel it because it'll be raised up against the surface. So there are all of my dots from my nail polish. And maybe this one's dry. Yeah. So, again, we would love to see anything that you guys make. Um, any kind of sign that you make, any attempt at braille that you have, we'd love to see it. You can send it to camp at campsummittx.org um, or put it on the Facebook page. Any pictures you send us, we might share them with other people um, because we're just so excited about everything that you guys do. So, again, let us know what you do. We'd love to hear from you and have a great rest of your week. Bye.